So let's move on from a vintage open kit to something more muted. Uh, that's really cool. So you can take a drum kit, you can stuff it with tea towels and cushions and create a really, really dense sound. And with some additional compression, which you can add with DSP, you can create something like this, which is great for a bit of 70s American funk, perhaps. And we're going to use some amazing brass to play some riffs over the top. So on. Okay, let's play something completely different. So we'll go from a drum kit to something much more subtle, some brushes. And this is great if you like a bit of jazz. And, you know, jazz covers a wide uh, range of music. But we'll take something, a bit of piano, bass, and drums, and just listen to the intricate uh, sound of these brushes. Okay, let's bring in the band. Weren't those amazing brushes? Well, you can choose whether you want the drummer to play with brushes or sticks, and the sticks give a very different feel. Let's just get those going. And so on. We'll come back to that in a minute. Before uh, we play those drums, I also want to show you a very important sound for a keyboard player, and that is the organ sounds. We have many organ sounds to choose from. Uh, what I like is a typical sort of jazz vintage sound. We can call them up onto the screen very easily, like so. And then we can use the sliders to shape that sound. Okay, uh, what we also have is brand new rotary speaker DSP there with a little bit of drive which adds that dirt that you need. The big benefit with the sliders is the fact that we don't actually have to have the organ image open to control them. We can have the main playing screen and then we can control those sliders in the same way and that's fantastic. Okay, let's bring it together. We'll bring in the drummer. And we'll bring in the organist and the band. So you've heard a couple of examples of some of the amazing drum kits on board. We have many, many more rock kits, pop kits, even electronic dance music kits. But what's really powerful is that we have a drum kit editor on board, which means that you can combine different elements from different kits. You could take, for example, a snare from a rock kit, a bass drum from an EDM kit, and create something really original. Something like this.
On the back panel of Genos, we have a quarter inch XLR combo jack, which provides phantom power. That means you can connect a high quality studio condenser mic. We've recorded some vocals into the instrument. Skin of mine is fine with me. She you know what a love can be. Which I'm actually operating from the multi pads, and we can bring that all together. Something like this. The onboard 16-track sequencer allows you to create an arrangement or composition track by track. And it's very, very easy to do. And when you're happy with your song, you can then save that as an audio file on board the Genos. And that will also allow you to save any live play or vocal performance. I want to show you one more set of incredible voices, and they are Kino strings. We've sampled a string orchestra in a movie score style. So the violins are hard panned left and right, and the violas, cellos, and contrabasses are center, which gives us a huge cinematic score approach. And with a free play style, you can really create movie scores in real time. Genos is fantastic for live performance, but it can also function as the heart of your recording studio. It features mastering effects such as compressors, EQ, and a high quality digital out. So that's the amazing Genos Digital Workstation. Once again, I'm Martin Harris from Yamaha here at Craft Music. Thank you for watching.